Hello, Mr. Schindler. Thank you for your time. I know you're a busy man. So we just wanted to make an interview to get like an idea about the past year, 2017, to get like a recap from your point of view and also like to get an idea about what is happening in 2018 with the company Dondemon. So the two year 2017 was really eventful for you. You had a lot of like goals and projects around the whole world. We all like could follow your step or the journey of Dondemon on a variety of social media channels. Like short time ago, there was an article published on the Süddeutsche Zeitung, which is a famous newspaper in Germany, and also an article published on Werben und Verkaufen. Last year, you also traveled with the Federal Ministry for Economical Collaboration to Africa. You also had projects in India, Guatemala. Sustainability became a really important part of your company philosophy. And now I want to know, like, how do you reflect the year 2017, maybe compared to a previous one? Maybe to the year 2016, like how do you compare it? Yeah, 2017 was a great year, uh, especially compared to, to 2016, where the market was still slow and, and we had a difficult economic situation. So it, since since the end of 2016, we see a strong growth in the economy in general. We developed quite well. We invested already in the years before in projects in uh, mainly around these sustainability projects with uh, social impact in India and Africa and also in, in, in Central America. Yeah, all these projects were, let's say, we were seeding in the 2016, 2015 already in these projects. And in 2017, we started harvesting. It was really a, in a metaphoric way. Yes, it was really that, that these projects started to work started to, to, to the impact were, were visible. And I would say in, in all the project, even when the market of grapes, for example, was difficult, the impact in, in India was, was very positive. And especially the perspective, we stopped watching only one period or one, one year. And we, uh, in general, we, we estimate the, or we, we, we describe the, the situation of 2017 in a way was very good, everything went up, everything grow, grow, grew bigger, we have more people in the company, we have a really, the, to, let's say, to, to, to focus on sustainability, it's really a, a very important step for the company, and this came really up in 2017, we, it really became visible, we made bigger programs with supermarket, we were approached by more interesting people for who were looking for to to work with Don Limon. So I would say the whole the whole process of uh, uh, during the year 2017 was all the time positive. Of course, we had also difficult uh, situations, but in general, everything went up bigger, better, faster, uh, and uh, more beautiful. That sounds super great. So Don Limon is a brand of the company Pilchinder. And Pilchindler is like family company owned in the third generation. So what makes you like mo the proud most? Like like when we look at the development of the country, like the evolution of the company, like how did Don Limon implement themselves into like the whole fresh fruits and vegetable market? What I see, well, we, are, we are a typical uh, fruit trading company. From, uh, in the former time, we were a really typical uh, fruit trading company. And now we combine this with development projects. So we became also a development company. And we are, we are the, the business case or the business model became very much driven by development, focusing still very much on, on fruit business. And this is also, let's say we have a market approach uh, in the development sector. And we combine with this family company, which is very much driven by, by emotion, by gut feelings. You know, we are, we are, we are combining academic approach and uh, this gut feeling approach, which is part of this family business since many years. And this together made a great energy to attract great customer and then to, to create a good business. So would you say that Don Limon also has this emotional kind of way with working things makes Don Limon better than other companies, like compared to them? Does it make Don Limon stronger? Well, better better than before. Yes, I, I don't want to really judge if you're better than others. I think we have, a, we, have, we have a small family company, we grow, and I see compared to before, my father, the, the business he made was buying fruits and selling fruits. Nowadays, with all these, uh, let's say, cooperation with the Southern Hemisphere, 
where I would estimate people much more emotional than, than we know this here from our Protestant world, where everything is very rational, very fact-focused. And, and let's say to the, the knowledge to handle emotions, this makes us strong. Yes? And this is, I would say, this really improved our, our capability to build this bridge between these, these markets, where normally it's more emotional people, more cows, more, more difficulties to understand it for us from, from Europe, where we are always in this totally structured, organized world. And yeah, to connect, this, is, this, makes us, this makes us strong there. This is really something that's very important. So we already know that Don Limon has business in Mexico, Guatemala and India. You already travel to those countries. You have some development cooperation projects with the German government in those countries. But besides that, what was like your highlight of the year 2017? Yeah, we had we had great projects in in or we had, we still this is running projects in, in in Central America and India. Yeah, but the, well, I would say the biggest thing was this this trip to to Ghana and the Gambia together with the German Bundes president. And this is really an honor to to travel with this uh, economic de delegation to these countries and to to really create an impact. It's not the first time that, that I was traveling with him. In the time he was, uh, in the former time he was the um, uh, foreign minister of, of Germany. We went to Argentina and Mexico. And with all these trips, we, we really created strong impact there. We cre this was a strong impact for us because it makes us very self-confident and proud to really, for me, it was a big thing to, to arrive there with, with our president or foreign minister. And in Africa also, we feel this already It's, it's only four weeks ago and, and we already feel how it's going on and the energy which is around it. So, so this was a true highlight in 2017 to go there in this country with, with a German president. That sounds really great. So you talked about like your trip with the Bundespräsident. So who else was part of the team who traveled with you? And what was like the exact mission of the trip? What did you try to achieve? Well, there, there was not really an exact mission of the trip. Well, the, the exact mission of the trip by, from, from the German president was to, to admire the democratic changes in the Gambia and also to, let's say, to, to visit uh, the Ghana, which is already a strong partner for, for Germany. And to, to say what my goal, you know, I, I, my goal was not really important to travel with the, with the Bundespräsident. I was in his, uh, in his delegation of, of economic, uh, in his uh, economic delegation. And yeah, the, the goal was really to, to get there, to understand, to learn, and to, yeah, to feel also the cooperation with the embassy there and, and to, to feel their, their support. And what I see also in, in the, the whole last 10 years since we have Don Limon, we really feel that the approach we have, it's a very positive one. I, I'm really proud to come together with a German president, with a German spirit, which, with, a, with a very... Uh, future oriented and a modern spirit to to be part of this german politic uh, politic and and bring in this in our in our business we also i i study sociology i studied a lot about democracy and about uh, all kind of uh, let's say system uh, how people organize their life and this part democracy is a very important thing and it makes me proud to to be part of the german delegation and bringing this spirit also in our fruit business. And normally, nobody would, would relate democracy or, 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 or this, this, let's say, politics in fruit production, fruit distribution. We, we bring this together with the development. It's like, yeah, we, we build a ball around this, this simple fruit production, which affects also politics, social impacts, and, and, and yeah, much more things what you expect from the first moment. So this... This trip with the German Bundespräsident gave a lot of fantasy what else can we build around the fruits. So with all the information you gained while you traveled with the Bundespräsident in Africa, what can we expect um, to hear about Don Limon in the next year and what are the next steps of Don Limon? Well, the, in 2018, in the end we will do what we always did. Yes, we, we, we go forward, we, we, we bring together, we, we will tailor together really this, this uh, sustainable part, you know, the, what The focus on sustainable development with social, environmental, and economic impact in the southern hemisphere. This is, let's say, this became our kernel of the business. There we 
fix the fruit with it, and then the Western value with democracy. All these things we will make, we will put in, in, in one big piece together and to, pr to use this, uh, this energy of all these ingredients to make, uh, to make grow our, big, our, our, our business. And when, when I remember when we started really to get conscious about our, our sustainability uh, focus, which we had already before, but now we are really, we, we, we care more for it. We, we, we really put it on the front desk for, of our business. Yeah. And this energy is, is positive in, in, in all ways, where, where we, see it, we see it with our new employees, with our customer, with our supplier, with our producer. Yeah, this, this is what we want to, want to promote and, and really put on the top of 2018. Energy to grow in a sustainable way. This is what we, what we plan. So one last question before we finish the interview. How do you think the fresh fruits and vegetable industry might change within the next years, especially when we look at trends like sustainability? Yeah, we see a, a big change in the, in, in the business because it's, the sustainability will be very important. And before was, everybody was searching for freshness and, and new products. But I think this, this sustainable part is really important and when you see other businesses the sdgs of united nation is integrated or related in these businesses we see in in our the goals of our company is really driven by these sdgs and we really want to make it very very important for everything what we will do in the future the development programs and so on and the sdgs of the united nations are part of our business philosophy and of our business culture and then what we published just in our uh, sustainability report, there you see really the, the details of in, in our projects and the, in, and the SDGs. This, this, I think, will be the big change in, in, in the whole business to care for, for these details, for the, for the part which is human and which have to make sense for, for humanity, for people, for, for families, for, for us, for ourselves, not, not profits and business. It's, it's really something, the big picture, have to be have to be focused and have to be uh, have to be in the in the business and uh, yeah this is this is the main goal I think. So thank you much very much for your time. I wish you all the best for the year two thousand and eighteen and hopefully we see us soon. Yeah, thank you very much and yeah, let's see us in the Fruit Logistica in Berlin this year and subscribe to our newsletter.